Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Volpine here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress, or our walkthrough, walkthrough Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress, kind of both. <laughs> the further we get in, the more it's going to turn into more of a Let's Play than a walkthrough. But, in the last episode, we got a dog from the trader, or the trader arrived, we bought a dog with what we've sold, we let the dog out of the cage, and... We also dug out our workshop zones for our permanent lodgings. This is where our permanent base is going to be down here. We made our new everything stock. Well, we haven't made it yet, but this is the dugout area for our everything stockpile that the that the permanent workshops are going to have very quick access to. In this episode, we are going to work on our defenses. It's so like we talked about when we first started getting into our base here. We can lock these doors and then we'll be a little bit safe. Not perfectly safe. I think things can break down doors now. They used to not be able to a long time ago. And we would have been safe forever. But now, we do need some like extra layers of defense. One of our major concerns is we have a bunch of animals that have to eat outside. We have bunnies. We have horses. Chickens actually don't have to be outside. We can bring them in anytime we want. We just need to make a zone for them. But... All the other stuff has to graze on grass. Well, as you can see, we've dug out grass, and, or we've dug out this cavern floor. There's dirt here, but grass won't grow. One thing we could consider is, like, plating this over with, like, a grate. Actually, it'd be, like, a hundred grates, because we need one for each tile. And that would let sunlight through, but things wouldn't be able to get in. Unfortunately, I do think things might be able to shoot into the base if we do that, but it might still be something we do. This is sort of the disadvantage of building into the hill instead of building straight down, is if we built straight down, if I had built a base like over here, I could have made like a small castle. And then in the side of the castle courtyard, our horses and stuff could graze. Instead, we're gonna have to try to do that makeshift into the side of the hill, which is gonna be a little tricky, but we're gonna try it out. Let's uh, chop down more trees. We are gonna need a lot of wood because I am going to build a bunch of walls and things. We also generally don't want trees near our entrance anyway, because enemies can climb into the trees and they can shoot down at us, things like that. Let's also get rid of our gathering zone, because if we chop down a tree that's in the gathering zone, the, if there's someone in the tree, they'll die. Set those orders. I guess those are his horses. It looked like horses ran out. I guess it was a chicken or something. I don't know. All right, he's getting he's getting to chopping. So with our miner, I don't really want to send him up here while the trees are getting chopped down though, because <laughs> they might land on him. We're gonna start digging channels. And the thing we have to be very mindful of is dwarves are not going to do things necessarily in the smartest order. So while it would be nice to like select like all of this to be channeled, he might decide to dig this section first and then this section here will all collapse, which would not be good. So we only want to mark tiles where there's no risk of collapse if he does things in the wrong order, which is going to be like these tiles. And we're going to dig out to, like, I don't know, this layer? This layer probably makes the most sense. Although, then I want to make sense that I did that. Didn't do all of my checking. Is this on? Yes, this is this level. Then also do this. This. These should all be fine. These should both be fine now. Then I guess what I'll do... Build some walls. Let's use build closest material. Unfortunately, this might decide to select some blocks that we made earlier. Because they'll be closest, but it's just kind of a pain to go select those things. So we're just going to do it like this. Actually... We're going to cancel this middle construction because someone might build this middle one before building this one and then they won't be able to build that one. Walls and things 
walls and digging these channels, it's tricky. It's not fun. You really got to micromanage it, but it's also something we got we got to do if we want our base to be safe. Because unfortunately, doors just really enjoy doing things in the wrong order. It's not my favorite. Yeah, we're going to bring this out to... As long as they have access to one side, they should always be good, but... Never know. So we're also going to remove these ramps that we've created because we've been channeling. Because those give new entrances into our base, which we don't want. Got some fighting going on. A rattlesnake versus a war dog. The fact that the rattlesnake is still alive and I don't see the war dog is a little bit concerning. I don't know if Venom is in the game. I think it is. Oh, I messed up. Yeah. That's why you kind of got to pay. It's kind of hard to tell with this tile set because everything's like blended together more nicely. It's pretty, but it does make it harder to see exactly what's going on. All right, so let's channel. We're going to have to build like a ramp to get up here. Because if we dig, if we just dig this tile out, there will be, well, I guess it would just collapse. Which might be fine since it's only one tile big. There's like, <laughs> we can't see it because we have a top-down view. But there's like a wall layer and then there's like a floor layer above. And then there's like a floor layer below. So if we dig out... The wall here, there's still a floor layer here that's going to be there. And then these logs that are on top of it are going to collapse. But you know what? We'll do it for science. See that big explosion that was there? Section of the cavern has collapsed. I think everyone's fine. It was a bigger area of effect than I expected, <laughs> to be honest with you. But... Oh, no. Two people got knocked unconscious. Might not have been good. The miner is fighting? Is there an animal here? Or are they just... Is it considering them in combat because they took damage from the collapse? Cloud. <laughs> it's weird that I consider this com combat. He's caught in a cloud of siltstone. He's caught in a cloud of clay loam. Siltstone, clay loam. Miner's left hand takes the full force of the impact, bruising the bone through the wool. The miner slams into an obstacle. The miner's caught in a cloud of siltstone. Uh, the miner's lower body takes the full force of the impact, but is deflected by the miner's pigtailed trousers. I think they're going to be fine, but it's definitely, like, kind of scary. You probably shouldn't do that. What's this? I never did that. Weird flex, but okay game. So just in case, we might want to build like a, a hospital right away. Let's dig out. Oh, yeah, he's the one who has to dig. That's funny. That's uh, might not get done then. We'll see. To all right. Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> so yeah, don't do it that way. Yeah, well that well you would have had to do since I left this out here when I shouldn't have is I would have had to have built a built a stairway because we can't dig them out here because we already got rid of everything. But if we build construction or a ramp, I suppose stairs and then just curled up one layer. We would have had to build a staircase next to it, then ch channel down here. And then remove the ramp and then remove the stairs, starting with the top stair and then doing the bottom stair. Again, this part of doing things is highly tedious. Because you do, do it wrong, then what just happens there happens and people get knocked unconscious and possibly die. I just thought we might be able to risk it there because he would have to... Uh, 
Well, he wouldn't be under anything that was going to collapse, right? He was going to be next to it, so I thought he might be fine. But uh, apparently not. Apparently it makes a giant explosion. <laughs> Probably way bigger of an explosion than should have happened, considering how little fell. It was just a, some logs and a floor tile of rock, which who knows exactly what that would mean. Dig that out, my friend. I know you're hurting, but still need you to do your job. Uh, nope, don't do that. Again. <laughs> it's tedious work. It's kind of like the like earlier when we had to assign jobs to everyone. Like, eh, it's tedious work that I don't don't want to do, but we have to do it. There is no alternative. <laughs> It's got to be done. All right. Now that we have this room made, let's make an early hospital. So, only they keep changing how things work. So, I think it's going to be a meeting area. A hospital used to be a separate thing, but now, it's a meet now I think it's a meeting area with special settings. Meeting area. And we click on this icon down here. Hospital. The home of addicts. Addicts, not addicts. That's not going to come through in the audio, is it? <laughs> Me trying to make a different differentiation between the two. Yeah, it's not gonna. That's not gonna work. So we're gonna put some beds in there. It's also probably time to make a work order for chests. So we'll add a chest work order to this location. Specifically, this location. We don't need a ton of these, so let's make like five. And then do it when you're at less than two. Because we're going to need a chest for the hospital. We're going to need a chest for some of the noble rooms. I think even our inn will need a chest. Lots of things need chests. Oops, build door, put that in there. I don't know, do I? I do have a medical dwarf. <laughs> He's in, he does a lot of other things too, though, so, and he doesn't have any skills in it, but at least we have one. Something is better than nothing. Anyway, let's chisel that away. Should be able to chisel those away. Okay, and then going to remove the ramps in here. We're just trying to make make this wall nice and flat so we know what we're going up against next. Oh, I don't give a deconstruct order to that. I guess this order counted? It shouldn't have counted though, because this is I guess it I guess it is. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> buttons have been combined that didn't used to be combined buttons before. And then things have been separated that used to be not separated before. This is done. Dig channel. Remove ramps. Build. Construction. Wall. Taught myself using old keyboard commands. I was trying to make the extend the wall out using the U key. Yes, that was the kind of things you'd have to do because there was not mouse controls for that. <laughs> Some chairs. There's a chest. Okay. Build furniture chest. Pop that bad boy there. And then build furniture chairs. Pop these bad boys down here. Okay. Let's 
construction wall. Oops. Like, this isn't even our defensive wall. This is just, like, normalize the terrain wall. <laughs> Everything's... Uh, I did it again. We gotta cancel that construction. There we go. Build that. Gotta channel this. You see the tedium here, right? <laughs> not, not the funnest thing to do. Do that like that. And close this material. I say, brother, you have a mining job right there. You might as well get it done. All right. And then just because this annoys me, dig that out and build a wall here. this ramp there we go now we have a nice flat wall for the entrance to our base now we should build an extension outside our base luckily for the first floor this will be pretty easy it's just after the first floor then things it's gonna get a little messy I'm not exactly sure how big we want the space to be, but let's do... That seems about right. Let's see, this was three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Walls, walls, walls. 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 We want a three by three entrance in so the caravans get through. Although, all the caravans I've seen so far in the new version of Dwarf Fortress are not 3x3. Three three. So it's possible the 3x3 three three thing is over. You might not need 3x3 three three entrances to your base for caravans. Hey, we have some new migrants. They entered into the map from there, apparently. I don't see them. But man, they entered up way high up on that hill, huh? Let's see what we've got here. Only a couple? Oh, I know. We got a lot. I wish they would let you sort by migrant waves. There used to be a tool called Dorth Therapist for the old game that let you sort things by when people arrived. And that made it very clear, like, who was new and who wasn't. Yeah. Quite a few more people here. Fisherdorf. Fisherdorf's interesting because we have an overworked character that fishes. Our, uh... Let's see, what exactly do you have? Just fishing. <laughs> okay. So, my proficient fisher no longer needs to fish. Which is great. I will free him up to do other things. And then for other dwarves that have arrived, we got a blacksmith. Can't really do much with that. Bowyer can't really do much with that. Woodcrafter is good. How good are you at it? Accomplished. Okay, so. Woodcrafter, you are no longer going to. Or my original woodcrafter. is this one. So we need to edit Woodworker 69er. Nice. And now we say you no longer Woodcraft because now I want someone else to do it because he's better at it. <laughs> I 
Do you have any woodcrafts we need to get made right away? Not exactly, because I'm making things out of bone right now, but it would be nice to make some bolts. Now, I have set up a work order for bolts before. The problem is they get taken in and out of the stockpile so often that it causes a problem where they'll make an infinite amount of bolts, and we don't want that. So, we're building a wall, of course, but we could also build a moat to make the wall effectively taller. So that's what we're gonna do. It's not perfect though, because we're built into the side of the mountain here. There's always gonna be this side that's always gonna be a little taller than everything else. Need to chop this tree, by the way. In fact, we probably need to chop a couple because these will create entrances into our base. We don't wanna be there. In fact, we can probably remove the ramps from this whole area here. I'm not going to flatten this wall like we did with our current one, but... Oh, see how it can cancel the construction? So, talked about this last time. When things are in the way, they sometimes can't construct. Animals specifically do this a lot. There's like chickens here and stuff that have gotten in the way. Oh, by the way, you should look at you should look at the animals in Dwarf Fortress because they have personality. This stray hen has great kinesthetic sense and ability to read emotions fairly well, and the ability to focus, but has an iffy memory and bad intuition. She dislikes receiving advice, preferring to keep to her own counsel. She is comfortable around others that are very different from herself. She lives at a high energy kinetic pace. She tends to be a little wasteful when working on projects. <laughs> She's often nervous. She tends to be a bit stubborn and changing her mind about things. She tends to think before acting. She doesn't focus on material goods. She's curious and eager to learn. She can handle stress. She is assertive. She tends not to reveal personal information. <laughs> she does not mind being outdoors, at least for a time. <laughs> I don't think they used to be like that. I think something about the new system has given animals the personalities of humans. It's just kind of... Kind of hilarious. So we're going to reset this pasture so that things are pastured in here. Which might get them out of the way of this construction. So like gross, like worms and stuff getting in the way. I don't know if they would block it necessarily. So to resume a construction that got canceled, you click on the thing and then you click resume construction. There we go. And it's done. We have a one tile big wall. Not, uh, not exactly the most inspiring defenses, but it is a defense nonetheless. Now let's channel out a three by three area of space here. You have to be careful because two layers down is our well. So we actually can't dig out our uh, our moat super deep. In fact, we're not even going to fill this moat with water. It's just going to be dry. Because enemies might fall when they're trying to climb our wall. And then we want them to fall into a this deep pit instead of into, uh, well, soft water. Our hunter is now hunting again because he has ammo. That's why I wanted to get some ammo built. I think we're having babies and stuff too. If not our dwarves, the animals are having babies. It uses the same icon. <laughs> not too worried about it though. So, now let's remove some ramps. We still want the ramps to get out of here because, well, if he digs out the ramps, how is he going to get out of here? <laughs> so we have to do something like that. Put them on the outside layer so that things have to climb out to the outside. And of course, if we just have an entrance into our base with like no other defenses, it's not really going to be that much of a defense, right? So we need a construction bridge. We want it to open this way again. It's already set on that, luckily. We'll build it from here. Oh, I forgot that it's like a different. 
Try that again. Bridge from here to here. That's what I meant. Now, when a bridge is lifted up, you would think that it would be as tall as it is long because that's just how existence works, right? But actually, it only folds up to this layer. It won't, it'll be on the same level as these walls. So on the next layer, we actually have to build a wall over it. I know it doesn't make sense. It's the way of the road. Unfortunately, we have logs down here that people are going to need to get out. But yeah, we want to get this bridge built before we can uh, dig out this part. The other thing we need... Instructions, stairs. I'll start on this layer. I don't know how tall I'm going to make our wall here because normally I'd make it like three tall, but we also have this other side that's uh, a little iffy. The problem is it takes a very long time to build walls because we have to build it like... Uh, we have to build it like we've been channeling, right? Because <laughs> well, we'll get there when we get there. It's... It's a pain. It's not my not my favorite thing to do, but again, one of the things that we have to do. Isn't that great? All right. So we'll build these staircases. I'll build them on this side because I don't necessarily want things that can somehow maybe make it over this wall to be able to use the staircase to get into the base. But over here, they won't be able to use it to get into the base. All right, that's done. I don't know if we can channel with the bridge down, but let's try. Again, we kind of have to do it like this. Uh, I don't think it put orders there. I think we're going to have to lift the bridge. It's actually going to be a little tricky. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I have to get the dwarf. I have to get the minor dwarf to the outside. I guess I could temporarily put them in a squad and then station the squad outside and then lift the bridge and then let them dig it out. Normally, I build a, when I build my base, I build it out here. And then I would have two ways into the base so you could go out the other way and around and dig that one out and then vice versa. This time I don't. And I can make like dig out like another path or something, but then I'll have an extra entrance to my base that I have to worry about, right? So... I think we're going to have to put him in a squad and station him. But we are out of time for this video. At least we have some basics here. This will help protect us a little bit. Especially, particularly with like thieves. Thieves will really have to get funneled now through even more, even more space than before. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments. And subscribe if you would like to see more. And until next time, I hope you have a good day.